today we want to uh, start off with uh, our friend Evie Claire. Again, she's a friend of the show. And I've got a clip here of her talking about singing in front of Simon. I'm Evie Claire. I'm from Florence, Arizona, and I sing. Performing for ADT has always been a dream of mine, but I never actually thought it would happen just because, like, I don't know, I would just watch TV and I'd be like, this is just TV. And then now that I'm actually here, it's like, really cool. So like ever since I was little, Simon has just like, I always just wanted to sing for him because my family has always, like they told me that I could sing well. So then like when I got to sing for him finally, I was just really happy and he's just always been like the person like I really, really wanted to sing for. So yeah. You've got four yeses. All right, well, I cut, cut off Tyra Banks there after just her little hi-hi. Um, we, we give a shout-out to America's Got Talent YouTube page where we get a lot of our uh, clips from. Uh, I guess some people might like the hi-hi, it's tie tai uh, but we'll, we may play one of them all the way through to where you can hear Tyra Banks, but... You know, I asked uh, Evie's dad, Amos, in the interview that we did, about her being in front of Simon Cow, And he mentioned that, you know, it's kind of a little bit of nerve-wracking uh, to let your little girl go in front of somebody who uh, at times has been a little rough on, on certain contestants, but... Um, it's cute the way that Evie was excited about being in front of Simon. Now, whether or not she was really nervous, uh, that she shared with us that there there were definitely nerves. And we've also got, I keep saying announcements. It's new news. Evie will be on this coming week's America's Got Talent. Cool. This week, we get to see our good friend, Evie, perform again. Uh, she got four yeses the last time and moved on. Uh, and so she's in a little bit of a different uh, boat than some of the others. She's got to earn her way through every round. Right. And so um, she's, got some, work to do she's got some work to do, but I think she's up to the task. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I say that I think that is because you can go to Evie's uh, YouTube page and there are literally dozens of songs that she has sang and done covers of that you can uh, pull up. And we've got one of those here. We talked to her about this uh, actual song. Uh, it, it's the wrong time of year, but that's okay. The song is Silent Night and I Know My Redeemer Lives. And she did that with uh, the, the church choir and, and all, and she talked to us about that. But I wanted to play that for you just now. Evie Claire singing Silent Night, I Know My Redeemer Lives, right here on the Ed Boston Podcast. Thank you. 
I'm Ivy Claire. Um, I love doing this video with my community and friends and family. Sharing music is the best way that I know how to serve. And we just invited our neighbors to come sing Christmas carols with us. And we had a really great time. So you can serve by just doing anything, big or small. So get out there this season and light the world. Um, you can watch this video and other videos for more ideas. Merry Christmas! Now, is she sweet or what? She's one of those little groups that just open their mouth and you don't expect that voice to come out. No. You just don't expect that voice to come out of that little girl. And she's way ahead of her age on, on maturity oh, and yeah. and how she carries herself. And, yeah. and that's kind of a big theme on our show, too. We've had a lot of child stars uh, that have passed through, uh, passed through the gates of the Head Boston podcast. Um, we, um, we just wish uh, Evie the very best in what happens this coming week in the show. Of course, that's been pre-recorded, and uh, she knows the outcome already, uh, but we don't. And I'm going to take just a second now to uh, say a word of prayer for Amos, her father. Father in heaven, we come to you just now thanking you for our friends, Evie and Amos, and all of the family that she has, uh, many of them who have now uh, joined in and follow what it is we do here at the Ed Boston Podcast. And in addition to lifting Evie up to you, Father, we just ask a special prayer for Amos as he continues to battle cancer. We thank you for the example that he sets on somebody who has fought and fought and continues to fight literally for his life. We ask, Father, that you would continue to bless him, heal his body, Father. We believe in the power and the healing of Jesus Christ. And so in Jesus' name, we ask a healing for his body. We pray this all in his glorious name. Amen. Well, let's move on to the next interview that happened this past week. And, um, well, to say that it blew our socks off would be a major, major, major understatement. We had literally thousands of people exposed to our work here at the Ed Boston Podcast. We had hundreds upon hundreds of listeners to that one episode. And Darcy Lynn we mentioned her uh, a little bit ago, is just such a treat. Uh, there's a reason that she got the golden buzzer uh, when she was on the first time uh, on America's Got Talent. Um, the, the clip that we're going to play from her, <laughs> she's a ventriloquist, and as she shared with us when we had her on the show, uh, she's got several different puppets that she uses. Now, on her uh, audition, she used Petunia. Describe Petunia. Petunia was, uh, is a white rabbit that is it's so cute. You just Petunia is just what Petunia sounds like, just a little cute white rabbit. I mean, you, you just there's just no, just cute. Well, Just like Petunia's, I don't know, worker, owner, mommy, I don't know what you call her. Well, I was going to say, Petunia's cute and white and fluffy. fluffy. And Darcy Lynn has blonde hair yeah. and cute. And She's not fluffy. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that de describes her. But th they look like they belong together. Sure. Adorable. And so 
that was what she did, and we played her audition during the interview. So, again, I encourage you to go back. If you've not heard the interviews that we're talking about, look into our archives. You can go to our Facebook page and find the links as well. Um, but go back and listen because we talked to them. We played their auditions and, and clips and different things like that. And uh, so that's kind of what was, but what we're going to listen to now is, uh, well, we even asked her about uh, Katie the cowgirl. <laughs> and, and Katie's not just a cowgirl, but she's a yodeling cowgirl. Yodel, yeah. yodeling. Now, now think about this. There are not very many people with the skill of yodeling. That's not just something you run across every day. And you think about ventriloquism, and that's not something you run across every day. No. Both, both things are, are difficult and takes a lot of talent to do both of those. And Darcy Lynn does both of them in one act. It does them amazingly well. Uh, uh, this is the part of the show where I wish we could show video. Uh, if you want to see the video that goes along with this clip, you can find it on uh, our Facebook page, Ed Boston Podcast. And, and I, I promise you it is worth the three or four minutes that you will spend watching it. Uh, but let's listen to our friend, Darcy Lynn, and – See, or see, listen to how she and Katie, the yodeling cowgirl, perform. <laughs> Darcy, you want to yodel some more? Katie, <coughs> if I yodel anymore, my tongue will fall off. Oh, come on, Darcy. Oh, you all don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you know you can do all the work. <coughs> Thank you. 
Darcy Lynn. And half of it or more, even though it was coming out of her mouth, her lips were closed. That girl is so good. I was going to say, they can't see you shaking your head, babe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, but you shake your head because it's just kind of awe inspiring. It is. She's just so good. Yeah. <laughs> You just you just don't know what to even say because she's so good. And she she was on our show, and there every bone in her body was humble. Very, absolutely. And you know that seems to be a recurring theme about these youngsters that that we talk with. And that is a huge pressure. Oh, Ooh, boy. Your turn to... Uh, well, it's a stroke thing. I have something to blame it on. No. Uh -huh. You don't. Okay. It's a huge breath of fresh air to see that the young kids have, have that humbleness in them. Well, and, and when you say it's a breath of fresh air... Uh, we're not going to get into details because that's not what today's show about is about. But on the same week where there was a horrible video of some teenagers, 14 and 15 year olds, that did something that you cannot even put your mind around, that's not all of the news out there. As horrible as that was, and it was atrocious, there is a lot of good coming up from these younger generations right. and I wish that people like Darcy and Evie and Zinnia and Angelica got the same kind of media and press and recognition yeah recognition as these horrible hooligans, you can't, hooligans 14 and 15 year olds get yeah. uh, I mean Almost everywhere we go, people are talking about this terrible act, and I don't know. We kind of talk about something else. You ever heard of Darcy Lynn? Did you watch America's Got Talent and see Evie Claire? You know. Yeah. Well, by the way, they've been on our show. By the way, they're great young people. By the way, they were happy for us to pray with them on our show. Yeah, and unfortunately, the bad stuff gets the press, and things like this just kind of go by the wayside many times. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't get any press because that would be silly for me to say, but I can tell you that when we've been out and about this week, and we've been out and about quite a bit, Almost everybody we've talked to has seen that ugly video. 